Now, here's the question everybody wants to know. Is Hillary Clinton going to try to run in 2020? Oh, dear God. I can't believe I'm asking this question. Uh, but there's a little bit of speculation. And so let me give you the reasons that we're talking about this. Um, in an interview with PBS's Judy Woodruff, Clinton said in this in response to a question about Donald Trump urging her to run again. And I'm, I'm going to read you the tweet here in a minute. But she said, maybe there needs to be a rematch. I mean, obviously, I can beat him again. And of course, she means by the popular vote count, which didn't actually beat him, by the way. <laughs> now, Woodruff said, well, I, hey, she was just joking. She was just joking. Well, God damn it, that is enough to give a man a heart attack. Okay, but don't joke like that. Terrible. So again, this is in response to uh, this tweet from President Trump or this group of tweets. Uh, I think that crooked Hillary Clinton should enter the race to try to steal it away from uber left Elizabeth Warren. Only on one condition, the crooked one must explain all of her high crimes and misdemeanors, including how and why she deleted 33,000 emails after getting C subpoena. Made no sense. Um, now, in response to that on Twitter, by the way, Clinton said this, don't tempt me, do your job. Please do not tempt her. That would be a wish come true for the Trump campaign. So now, look, let me give you some information of why he was talking about Elizabeth Warren anyway. So now, Elizabeth Warren is now the new front runner in the 2020 election on the Democratic primary. So now she has surpassed Joe Biden nationally for the first time. So now Elizabeth Warren, again, she's got a lot of plans. Plans are actually pretty decent. Um, I think that they're half measures, but they're much, much better than anything that Pete Buttigieg and Kamala Harris and Amy Klobuchar have come up with. So, I mean, there's something there, right? And, and so people like those plans. Uh, I like Bernie Sanders better. Uh, I like his plans. They're more fleshed out and they're more comprehensive. Uh, that's personal preference, right? But I'm saying that Elizabeth Warren has been doing very well, probably because of those reasons. So now, and by the way, uh, just just before going live here, I read a story where Elizabeth Warren, and one, this is one of the biggest complaints from progressives. This is one of my complaints about Elizabeth Warren is that she said, well, look, I, I, I'm not going to take corporate money in the primary, but I will take corporate money in the general. She now came out today and said, you know what? I'm not going to take corporate money in the general either. I'm going to swear off corporate money completely. OK, great. That, that's good pressure. Uh, the, one of the problems with Elizabeth Warren is we don't exactly trust her to hold her word. But I still think that's kind of a win. So there's that. But anyway. She is the front runner. Joe Biden is sinking, which we all expected would happen. So now pretty soon, I think we're going to have a, a race between Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, which I think is fantastic. Unless someone from the establishment tries to ruin it. Now, we already have a ton of establishment candidates. Again, we've got Kamala Harris. We've got Pete Buttigieg. We've got Amy Klobuchar. We actually lost quite a few. Uh... Kirsten Gillibrand dropped out, Seth Moulton. Uh, there, there's so many other people, but there's still, still Cory Booker that's still running. Um, again, too many people running on the Democratic side. I can't really keep, the, keep track of them, but you get the point, right? So now you've got all these establishment candidates that don't even add up together to get Bernie Sanders, who's in third place, by the way. So the establishment is reeling. So it wouldn't surprise me if some people had it in their mind to be like, hey, Hillary, why don't you jump in that prime target? We need it. Look, Joe Biden is failing. We need an establishment champion, Hillary Clinton. Guaranteed. All the people. And by the way, this is another thing with Elizabeth Warren's uh, base, right? There is a lot of, I think, former, and that, okay, maybe a lot is, is, is kind of wrong because you do have a lot of former Hillary Clinton supporters that have supported Kamala Harris. But I think some of them might have went over to Elizabeth Warren. 
So Hillary jumps in, the I'm with her people might jump to Hillary Clinton. And then, of course, disaster, right? Look, I don't know. This is a lot of speculation, obviously. And realize it, and I realize it's based on like a tweet and a couple of snarky, jokey comments, right? But wouldn't this be the establishment's dream come true? Again, there are media pundits like the Jennifer Rubens of the world um, that, again, hate progressives, hate Bernie Sanders, lift up Elizabeth Warren because they hate Bernie Sanders. They see Hillary Clinton as a, oh, God, please save me, Hillary. Save us from progressives. I don't want to pay more taxes. And so I don't know, man. And there's certainly a lot of people in the media uh, who might want a Hillary Clinton. I know Chris Alyssa says no. So uh, that's interesting. Uh, and, you know, we'll have to see, right? But I don't want this to turn into 2016 all over again because that would be an absolute disaster. We can't afford, uh, we can't really afford to do that. Um, right now, I want it to be Elizabeth Warren versus Bernie Sanders. Again, I'm in favor of Bernie Sanders. Uh, but it, look, as much as we rag on, you know, Hillary, uh, on, I'm sorry, Elizabeth Warren, that's a weird uh, slip. Uh, as long as, as much as we rag on Elizabeth Warren for doing half measures, again, you got to remember her policies are actually a lot more progressive than anybody else in the establishment. And so Joe Biden, he's fading. That's a problem for the establishment because at the end of the day, they do not want to pay more taxes. So look, again, speculation, but could Hillary Clinton run? I wouldn't completely write it off. Although it's a really, really, really small chance. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.